Hi, welcome to CG Turner video tutorial. My name is Emma Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a air explosion with afterburn. So let's start it. We'll start from the top viewport and. Uh, And I'll use a uh, particle system super spray and click and drag. Now move your time slider in the perspective view. Okay. Now I set the spray number to well, 18 and uh, for the this spray to like like so, roughly like so. Okay, and set the uh, percentage of particle to 100%. And lower down this uh, red number to about um, 1 or 2. Now we have this um, particle for explosion, um, but we need uh, the particle trail. So we go to the particle spawn and uh, select the spawn trail and uh, set up the uh, direction chaos. So this will give uh, give it a little bit variation. Obviously the speed is too high, um, so I lower down the number to about 7. And uh, the life should be 100. Um, the emit stops at 10 frames. And uh, I, I increase the end time to 300. So Um, when we play this, um, this result is now what we um, want. So remember to, in the particle spawn um, menu, remember to check this inherit parent velocity. And um, let's lower down the chaos a little bit. So now in the viewport, you can see you you, you have the basic setup of your um, particle system. Yeah, but the all this um, trajectory are uh, uh, straight line. So we have to add a uh, gravity force to bend the trajectory to make it uh, more realistic. So go to space wrap and um, gravity and dry in the top viewport and uh, select the particle system first and uh, use this item to link it to the gravity obviously the gravity value is set to high so let's lower down the value to about 0.5 um, let's change So um yeah. So now after adding this uh, gravity effect, now the trajectory of our um, explosion particle now um, um, have a bending effect. If I add a uh, wind to this particle, will give it more. Um, Real, real reason. So um, I create a wind and a rotate. Again, uh, link this particle to the wind effect, and um, the value is too high, so I'll low down and 
watch it in the viewport see the update and you can increase the turbulence this will give a more um, will give a more realism to your particle okay and uh, so let's um, scroll this timeline and see now we have this um, explosion this particle explosion ready for the afterburn shader okay so now we um, go through uh, rendering and uh, environment at uh, afterburn this will add in the afterburn render together and select this afterburn effect and use this source particle daemon to pick up your uh, super spray particle and use this preview to see the size of your particle obviously the size is wrong so we can use we can use this number sphere radius to control the size of our particle if we want to the tip of this um, trail to be small sphere the the tail of this um, to be bigger so we can enable this AFC and increase the high value number so let's try 60 and for lower value number to about 10 05 yeah um, so this is about right but at the, the, the tip of this trajectory there's two big sphere there's a way to fix this you can under this particle quality you can increase the offset value fix the problem so we now scrub this time slider you can see our article change its size um, during according to its uh, particle age This is what we want, and um, so now we are going to uh, make a test render of our this um, setup. Before we test render it, uh, I'm going to set the um, background color to uh, light blue color. So let's this and make a test render. As you can see, there's no shadow on this particle, therefore it looks uh, flat and not real. So therefore, we are going to create a light for our particle. So um, let's go to create and light, and I'm going to create a omni uh, omni light here. And uh, let's adjust its um, location is uh, position yeah. uh, here uh, no, it up okay you can put it anywhere you want and um, after create it go to the modify panel and remember check this um, shadow on and uh, choose the AB Retro Shadow AB aka Afterburn. So this will make your particle have shadow. And now go to environment, use this source light to pick up the omni light you just created. Okay. And one last thing to do is remember to check this self shadow. Therefore 
when you test render it, you have this uh, nice looking uh, realistic uh, particle shadow. So um, as you can see, there's uh, still some uh, problem to need to be fixed. Uh, one thing is the um, the the particle um, at the, in the core it looks too uh, dense, too solid. We need to be lower the density along this uh, trajectory. So how to um, adjust the density of our particle? We can go to here the noise animation parameter there's a density control so I'll set the lower value to about 1 and uh, um, enable this FFC and set the uh, high value to 0 so let me briefly explain what AFC is AFC is uh, a way to control your uh, animation so from the 0 time the value set to 10 it means Zero time the va the density value is one, and the hundred the less friend of your animation, the density of the particle is zero. So I can add any uh, interpolation to this, so uh, the particle became transparent uh, faster. So let me make a test render. So now this time you can see the um, the particle. Uh, looks more real because um, it lost its uh, density um, when the particle get older. So one thing you need to know when you lower the density, the rendering time will take longer. So um, the the next thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a, a, fr a fire uh, burn looking at the tip of this um, trajectory. So how to do that? Um, we go to uh, create panel and uh, helper and uh, after burn daemon. Use this explore control and uh, create it at the top viewport. You can create it anywhere you like. So now um, we want a uh, color mm, that the fire color. Um, you can create your own, or you can load the afterburn uh, gradient color. Uh, let me s um, should be program file and uh, Autodesk Bx Max Nine and uh, scene afterburn tutorial and this explode AGT now you have this color and uh, we're same, same thing we are going to create uh, is um, animation so uh, I'll make this curve like so and I'll make this curve also like so and uh, set this multiplier to 8 therefore at the tip of a particle this trajectory will looks hotter than the tail the, the, after we uh, adjust the value of the, this explore daemon remember to um, also go to environment and prepare use this source particle daemon pick up pick up this explore we just created so this will let the explore daemon to take effect so um, we can make a test render. Now you can see at the tip, at the tip of this trajectory. Now we have the fire. Um, we have this fire kind of effect. Now you can feel um, this uh, render time is now very fast. There's a two way to optimize your render speed. One way is to, to increase this uh, volume rendering step number, step size to higher. We can try five, and uh, another is um, lower down the shadow sampling. We can use uh, number of two, 
when you uh, change these two parameters, you can feel that your running time runs much faster. However, um, this will um, this, um, you can you should find a balance between this timing and quality of those um, parameters. But this is the way to do it. So um, this is this is uh, this tutorial and one last thing um, if, if you want to um, um, make your uh, explosion looks more real you can go to noise animation parameter and uh, also set this noise size to um, AFC to enable and set the um, uh, low value low value to about five high value to about twenty. And uh, this will adjust the texture of your um, animation. So, uh, so let's uh, make the uh, final render. And um, I'll set the screen size to lower, so you can see final results again um, all these parameters uh, need to be tweaked um, this is a quick and concise video tutor so um, I hope you like this video tutor and Feel free to email me or make any comments. Bye-bye.